Those looking at the NHS big picture realise that facing a period of rapid change and the challenge of providing safe, high-quality care within restricted budgets, what's needed is a workforce that focuses on medicines, their safety, their effectiveness, their value for money. Clinical pharmacologists practicing CPT do exactly this. Whether it's care provision, medicines policy and management or toxicology, they excel at improving patient outcomes and experiences. After all, with Britain's ageing population, the ability to look after patients with a wide range of conditions is only going to become increasingly important. As one patient puts it, they adapted my medication regime to a combination which fitted me and it's working. They simply know what they're talking about. Whether it's experimental medicine or working with industry or in education and training, clinical pharmacologists make a valuable contribution to the NHS. Right now, for example, prescribing errors affect one in eight patients across Britain. That number could be reduced, but not all NHS organisations across Britain ensure their patients get equal access to the expertise of clinical pharmacologists. These CPT consultants are working under excessive pressure and on average work 50 hours a week. On top of that, demand for their services has increased significantly in England and Wales in the past decade. This growing demand means we need more CPT consultants. There were only 77 of them in 2012, far fewer than the 440 that are needed. It's going to take time to achieve that but the British Pharmacological Society thinks that the current numbers can be doubled to 150 by 2025. Making that happen means NHS organisations across all four nations will need to come up with a joint strategy for the next generation of CPT consultants. Those who become clinical pharmacologists need better support from university through to consultant level and a clear career route to help develop their expertise. This is the workforce that the NHS is looking for. Clinical pharmacologists can see the bigger picture, helping patients, the NHS and the wider economy too.